Okay, hey guys, how's it going? So today is the 10th of June. Just want to record a video about the current uh, market, right? Especially with uh, FOMC happening uh, tomorrow. Okay, so uh, market should be getting, you know, a bit uh, constipated. Uh, you should expect the market to, uh, to not move much prior to the uh, FOMC uh, event. Okay, so in one of my previous video, I talk about how uh, price always stays at you know a very crucial level, just before a high impact news. So if you're not checked out that video, make sure you check it out because uh this is the same scenario uh that's happening right now. Okay, so uh the objective of this video is to just give you updates about uh this currency pairs over here, right? This entire watch list. Uh, I can't go through every single uh, currency pair, but I'll try my best to cover, you know, kind of like the majors, okay, so that uh, at least you have a good uh, understanding about what's happening and also the key levels to watch out for uh, as we go through the week, okay? So uh, hopefully uh, you're good. Hopefully you made some money. Okay, we, our team has sent out very good trades this week. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you grab a copy of our day trading guide, which I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so make sure that uh, you join our Telegram channel. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, what we're looking at is a dollar index. Okay, we always like to look at a dollar index first to get a feel of uh, how the market is going to move. Okay, so as you should know, dollar is the main currency. So if you can find out uh, where dollar is headed, then uh, you can pretty much fig figure out uh, where the rest of the currency pairs are going. Okay, so if you switch on to a Forex factory calendar, you can see that uh, at 2 a.m. on Thursday, okay, uh, I mean GMT plus 8, it's 7 a.m. here, uh, you can you can just check this website out because uh, for you, depending on where you are watching this video from, right, uh, the time will be different. But uh, nonetheless, uh, FOMC is going to happen. And uh, th this is the period where a lot of people lose a lot of money because uh, the market likes to do all, all sorts of funny things uh, prior to the event. Okay, so you want to make sure that you manage your risk well and uh, you stay sharp. Okay, so right now, dollar... Uh, dollar index is sitting on support okay uh the 96.47 level okay currently looks broken okay just a moment it looks broken but i have to caution you that uh right now uh the day has just started right uh you saw earlier that the time is 7 a.m okay uh it's morning okay so the candle has just started Okay, so it's too early to conclude because uh, the Europe session haven't traded, the US session haven't traded. So for all you know, what might happen is that a uh, price might just do this. Okay, so you want to be cautious. Okay, you want to be very cautious. Uh, so what you have over here, uh, it's a demand zone. Okay, okay, I think I recorded a video about this concept before, uh, supply and demand zones. Okay, supply and demand zones, you just look at the departure of the level. You can see that this, this movement here resulted in this big movement up. So this is definitely a very strong level. So it's not by, you know, it's not by chance that price is sitting on a strong level uh, prior to a high impact news. Okay, this is a very common occurrence, which uh, again, I've covered in the other video. So if you not watch it, make sure you watch it after you watch this video. Okay, so... That's the what I'm looking at right now. Okay, dollar is expected to you know maybe be supported, maybe it's broken. You don't know. Okay, but for now I'm going to assume that uh it's probably going to be you know kind of supported. Okay, so tricky scenario. Okay, now let's look at gold. Okay, uh gold. Uh earlier last week uh I I drew this uh you know trend line that was retested. I was telling you to watch this level for a potential shot, and it happened exactly. Okay, so the question is why did price stop here? Okay, very simple. You look left, you can see that uh you can see that there was a previous support here. If you change to the line chart, uh, just a moment, and uh you draw it like that, this high here, switch it down, you it's it's pretty obvious why price stopped here. Okay, if you draw the uh, Fibonacci, should be the 1.272 level. Okay. Again, uh, these strategies are taught in uh, my other for, uh, Forex videos. So if you don't know what I'm doing on this, please check it out. Okay, uh, All these videos are free. All you need to do is just 
put in some effort to you know learn it right to watch a video rewatch it multiple times if uh, you know you don't really get it okay so same thing price is back here again okay except that i probably will adjust it uh, just a bit uh, just just a bit uh, adjust it like that okay so same thing as uh dxy okay you realize it's always the same thing uh market wants to stay at a level okay wants to stay at an important level before the news event and let you guess whether okay is this level going to be resisted or is this level going to be broken right it always happened okay so uh you just just watch out for this level okay so for now i think it's better not to do anything okay of course uh, if the, you see signs that uh, this level is resisted then definitely take the shot down okay this is in line with uh the downtrend okay you have a high here you have a low here you have a lower high and you have a lower low so uh structurally i think it's still a down okay you still want to trade the down movement uh, just that you want to catch it at the right level and you want to catch it at the right time okay so here's a tip for you okay if you want to get explosive trades with a minimal uh, risk means the best uh reward to risk ratio then you need to get the level right and you need to get the timing right okay timing right you get the best trades with the best uh rewards but if you know you just get the level right and you don't time it right then you probably need a wider stop loss and that means uh, you you're going to have a lower uh, reward to risk okay now let's talk about uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, Aussie dollar pretty much the same as last week. Okay, uh, last week in my video, I talked about how uh, this previous high is definitely uh, going to be, uh, you know, some resistance. Okay, and uh, just so nice, right? The market does this, does a fake out of this level. Okay, uh, this morning we sent out a trade, right? A trade to just uh, uh, buy it up and probably look for, you know, price to retest this level okay so uh the range is very tight you can see that uh we don't expect much uh the market to move much higher and that's why our take profit is rather small right we're just looking for a final take profit of uh, this level somewhere here okay it's also important to note the round level round digit level 0 0.70 that's the psychological number 0 0.70 is a very strong psychological level so uh, there's tons of resistance on top so if i were you and you know you went long you want to be very aggressive in uh, taking profits and managing your trade okay it's not to say that price can't go up like that but if you're entering here right now then uh, just be more cautious uh, when price goes up okay uh, in fact the reason why we really entered the trade uh, this morning is because uh, the stop loss is very tight. Uh, I think that uh, if you put a stop loss somewhere here, somewhere here, yeah, you're, you're kind of uh, following the momentum up. You have the uh, impulsive move, retracement, impulsive move, and retracement. So I think uh, relative to the risk to reward and the risk right, that you're going to take, it's quite a good trade. I think it's a worth it. Even if you know you lose money, I think it's fine. It's a good setup. Okay, so that's Aussie dollar. Now let's talk about a euro dollar. Okay, yesterday we went long euro dollar. Okay, uh, we caught it somewhere here, somewhere here. Okay, now euro dollar is at resistance now. So I mean, it's very obvious. You can see uh, this is the previous high and price is stuck here. Okay, so nothing, nothing concrete about it. Nothing much I can say except that uh, the trend is up. You want to be buying, but you want to be buying at areas of uh, support. Okay. Uh, I would like to price to come back down to somewhere here, okay? Kind of like an inverted head and shoulder, right? You have the left shoulder, you have the head, and then you wait for price to come back down, okay? Then uh, like this, okay, right shoulder, okay? So you notice how my eyes are, you know, really trained to uh, see chart patterns, okay? So all this comes with time. If you are still struggling, uh, don't give up, okay? Because it's not something that uh, you, you can you can just keep starting and you know goes in the head. It's something that uh, as you keep trading over the years, uh, you build the experience and you build the screen time, okay? So your dollar, that's what I'm waiting for right now. Price is too high. I'm not going to be buying uh, right here, and I'm definitely not selling, okay? Because uh, this is a clear uptrend. I mean, you you can't say that this is a downtrend okay this is almost for a fact that it's uptrend unless you say you want to do counter trend trades which i don't recommend 
okay? Because if you are struggling to send a profit on a, a trending trades, then what makes you think that you are ready to trade counter trend trades? Okay, so uh, do not trade that uh, if you are still starting out. Okay, next one is a dollar cat. Okay, let me just uh, clear it up. Okay, dollar cat is pretty interesting. Okay, uh, because uh, price has fallen a lot, and uh, right now it seems like there's some form of support. Okay, uh, yesterday's candle you have a very, you know, slight engulfing candle. Okay, what I don't like about this is that I don't like that uh, you know, price uh, didn't close above the previous high. Right, it's kind of like a long wake up showing that the sellers are still in control. Okay, so uh, it's rather tricky. Okay, because uh, over here you have a nice demand zone as well. Okay, uh, I'll be looking for opportunities to buy. Okay, but uh, it's contingent on uh, let me just delete this first. Okay, it's contingent on a probably on a more energetic uh, bullish uh, bar probably if uh, the, the bar can you know close above this then i'll be looking to buy otherwise i'll be looking uh, you know looking for more signs okay ideally you want to be selling but right now uh, this this support here seems to be holding right so from the way i see it, the h4 based on experience uh, whenever you have uh, this kind of base this kind of retracement base this zone here uh, you can expect price to pull back higher, okay? But uh, again, as I said, it's too early. Uh, I think it's better that you not trade this, you stay out of this trade, okay? Uh, otherwise, you wait for it to break down and then you, you know, you wait for a retracement up, okay? So just wait for this. If possible, do not trade this, okay? Let's talk about uh, Kiwi Dollar, okay? So Kiwi Dollar yesterday had a nice uh, engulfing, not really engulfing, more like a piercing pattern. Okay, so let's go into H4. And uh, you can see that this sluggish movement up is kind of like what I call a squeeze, right? It's, you know, it's very tight. It's just pushing price higher and then you want to slam it down after that. Okay, which the price actually did in two bars, slam down. So just think of it this way, right? From here to here, it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. 12 bars to build up this, you know, this up move, but only two bars to slam it down, okay? So it's quite evident uh, who's in control right now, okay? That's also a concept you want to use, using time to uh, make, to incorporate into analysis, right? Asking yourself, uh, you know, how, how is the movement like? How long did this movement take versus uh, how long did the uh, retracement take? In this case, two bars, wipe out 12 candles of uh, movement. Okay, so right now I see that uh, this trend line over here is probably broken, right? No matter how you draw it, okay, it's, you draw it this way. Sorry, let me just draw it properly. Whether you draw it this way, okay, you draw it this way, the conclusion is still the same, okay? The, the trend line is broken, right? So we should see more downside, okay? So uh, the question is only whether will it retrace higher first before coming down to form a double top, okay? Or will it just you know start selling down? Okay, so it's still too early to say. Uh, in fact, if you change the line chart, you probably can uh, spot uh, probably a invert. Uh, sorry, not inverted. A head and shoulder pattern. Okay, if uh, a small one. Okay, uh, if you use one of the strategies that I taught, you can look for a, a pullback entry. Okay, at the about zero one six one eight level, which is in conjunction with this. Uh, line chart entry that I teach in the video, okay? Just check out the other videos if you have no idea what I'm talking about if you're new, okay? Because uh, I don't want to keep repeating the same things again, okay? Uh, I, I do have another strategy in the day trading guide uh, which is in the description below. So make sure you download that uh, if you haven't checked that out, okay? So let's talk about dollar yen. Okay, dollar yen, it's uh, as support, okay? So you previously had a very nice big movement up and then it starts selling down. It's pretty crazy uh, market these days, right? If uh, you have problems seeing the support, just change the line chart, okay? Uh, draw it at the peaks, which is somewhere here, okay? Change back to the candlestick. You can see that price, it's very sim similar to gold and uh, DXY, just sitting at that level, right? Just waiting for you to make a decision, 
okay, which uh, I don't like this kind of scenario because to me, I think it's kind of like gambling, right? It's gambling whether the news is going to be positive, it's going to be negative, you know, I just don't like this kind of scenario, okay? So uh, I don't think I want to say much about this. You just want to watch out for uh, this level, whether it's supported or not. Now, uh, pound dollar. Okay, pound dollar, we are in a clear up trend. Okay, we are in a clear up trend. Uh, except that uh, now the price looks like it's going to be a range. Okay, the way I see it is that it's a tra training, trading range right now. Okay, uh, for me, you can sell it at the top right, of a trading range. But for me, I don't like it because uh, we are in an uptrend. So uh, in a trading range, my preference is to be buying uh, the bottoms, buying here, okay, and taking profit here. That's my uh, preference. You can also possibly short it down and then buy it up again, uh, but I don't like to do that because uh, I like to buy low and then, you know, when it comes up here, hopefully watch for a reaction and then if you see that price just keeps going up, then that's bonus for you, okay? But I don't really like to take counter trend trades. Okay, so for now it's ranging. Uh, you want to be more cautious with your take profit targets, you don't want to be too aggressive, okay? Now let's talk about Euro Yen and finish up with uh, Euro Pound, okay? So uh, Euro Yen, uh, you have a nice sell down, okay? Yesterday was a pin bar, okay? Now let me see the uh, H4, okay? So it seems like uh, the pin bar is formed, okay? Uh, what I see is that uh, you probably will have a higher, you know, for price to go higher, price probably will go higher. Okay, you have a nice engulfing pattern here, which forms the base of your pin bar. Okay, so uh, now it's still a bit too early to say it's uh, a bit more risky. Okay, I prefer price to close above uh, this level here. Okay, this uh, kind of like this swing high. Okay, if you can't see that this is a swing high, just change the line chart, then uh, you can see. Okay. You, you notice again, I don't really need to change the line chart to tell that this is swing high, but um, you know, I just want to show you what you know some tricks that you can do if you can't see that this is swing high. Okay, so I prefer the swing high to be broken, which is also the day high. Okay, uh, still too early to say because sometimes you know you can have a pin bar which just fails like that. So still too early. Uh, prefer to stay out. Okay, now let's talk about euro pound. Okay, Euro power is pretty uh, clear to me. Okay, pretty clear. Uh, dot, uh, if you look at the daily chart, you are at the bottom of the range. Okay, bottom of the range. Okay, in fact, this trade looks good. I might send out a trade signal on this uh, shortly. And you have the top of the range here. Okay, so in this kind of scenario, uh, you want to buy low, you want to sell high. Okay, in fact, what's interesting is that uh, if we draw a trend line down, uh, this trend line has been broken and you also have a uh, head and shoulders being formed right now. This is a left shoulder. This is the head and this is the potential right shoulder. It's not confirmed yet. Okay. Uh, what happens is that price might even go down here first and then, you know, go back up. Okay. Bear in mind that today is Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday, you have a whipsaw Wednesday as well. So uh, you want to be a bit more careful. Okay, you want to be careful towards... Uh, uh, how you take the trades as well as where you take the trades, okay? So, but this one, I'm pretty sure that, uh, pretty confident that, you know, regardless of whether it, it, it drops down or not, this zone should be a buy and then you are buying it up, okay? You, you should be looking to buy, you shouldn't be looking to sell, okay? So yes, that's it for this video, right? Uh, if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, right? Uh, then check out Telegram channel, you send out signals uh, in real time of the trades that uh, we execute in our own account. Okay, if you any other pairs that you want us to go through, right, uh, I'll do my best, right? I may not record another video, but uh, you know, I can uh, upload a, you know, like screenshot and upload it to the Telegram channel. So just leave a comment down below if you have a specific pair that you want to trade or you know, you're a bit confused and you want some, uh, you know, levels to look at. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.